Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisa Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the air sign readings for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, looking at the recent past, current energy, and the energy of the immediate future. Um, I already pre-shoveled the decks. Don't take the message if it does not resonate. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give y'all some advice from the Moonology deck. <laughs> which is right here i don't know what made me pack it like it but yeah um and yeah okay all right so i already premeditated on the decks um and shuffled them already so gemini this is your deck okay let's see what the overall energy is for you currently and what spirit has for you okay all right overall energy for gemini Okay. Gemini, your overall energy is the six of coins. Okay. With the ace of coins right behind that. Okay. All right. So you might be because the ten of swords is right behind that. Yeah. Um, you either are receiving some type of offer, blessing, gift. Um, a brand new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles after some type of ending, okay, or betrayal. This can even, even be someone that is um, investing, uh, giving, um, willing to give equally, willing to participate equally, maybe wanting to start fresh, start over after an ending, okay? Let's see, what happened in the recent past? The Ace of Swords. Okay, so the Ace of Swords is about truth and awareness, clarity, okay? I have a glare. Let me see if I can get rid of the glare. Go down. Let's see. Ace of Swords. Yeah, still glare. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Hopefully that's not too dark. <laughs> um, in the current energy, we have the Queen of Swords, okay? That's your energy, right? Yeah. Clear. All right. And in the immediate future, the magician. Listen, Gemini, this is your energy too. You're in your power. You hear me? All right. Let's see. Um, yeah, you're making things happen. You're making some things happen for sure. Okay. All right. So let's clarify your energy. Okay. See why these energies are here for you. For Gemini spirit. Put your mind. Clarify the energy space. Okay. The Ace of Swords in the recent past. This is clarity, truth, a victory even, overcoming something. Why is the Ace of Swords here in the recent past for Gemini? The Five of Wands. Okay. Yeah, and the high priestess. So this is truth about what the problem was, maybe. Okay, with the five of wands, there could have been some type of conflict or interference. And with the high priestess energy, um, it's like you knew why, right? You knew where it was coming from. You knew what the problem was, maybe, intuitively, okay? Um, somebody might have been, you know, um, keeping something from moving forward or... Um, blocking some type of communication or um, just hiding something, okay? It's like you gain some type of clarity or truth for what the problem was, right? Why is the Ace of Swords here in the recent past for Gemini? Yeah. This could also... You know, let's keep going. For Gemini Spirit. Ace of Swords. Yeah. The Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups, okay? So... Um, I was going to say this and then I stopped myself, but with the Ace of Swords, this is overcoming something, okay? Right, so there could have been some type of uh, secret even that came out that caused a lot of drama or conflict. Um, and with this Knight of Cups energy, it could have been because someone was in and out of the union, okay? With the Two of Cups, okay? Um, King of Swords and the Devil. Someone might have realized that their actions, um, the decisions that they were making was the problem, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. It became very clear of what the problem was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Knight of Wands energy is a player-like energy, right? Why is the Ace of Swords here in the recent past for Gemini? Okay. Five of Cups and the Moon. Okay, so when the secret came out, someone felt very sad, okay? And they even, they even probably, you know, felt like, Sad and also uh, disappointed in themselves, I feel. Okay. With this moon energy and a ten of pentacles, someone could have um, kept a whole marriage a secret. Okay. They could have um, been in a full blown relationship, lived with the person and everything. Four of wands on the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you ended a relationship because they had some type of secret marriage or commitment, you know? Why is the Ace of Swords here in the recent past? Yeah. Yeah. Ace of Swords. For Gemini. Yeah, that's a lot. That's me. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay, <laughs> so in the current energy, we have the Queen of Swords. All right. Why is the Queen of Swords the current energy for Gemini? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So someone is coming towards you. They're coming towards you slowly. Okay. This could be a friend. This could be someone that you have friends with, like common friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're coming towards you slowly. Okay, they're trying to do so or talk to you or communicate with you at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, two of Swords energy is someone that, you know, closed off. Okay, they could have um, avoided making a decision on something. They could have avoided um, even talking to you. You haven't talked to them. Maybe they feel like you are going to avoid them or not talk to them. Um, but the Three of Pentacles in this star, okay, could be in a brace because um, I saw the air sign energy a lot. Um this is someone that wants to get on the same page, okay? They want to heal something, okay? Why is the Queen of Swords here in the immediate, in the current, for Gemini? Why is the Queen of Swords here in the current? Yeah, they're coming slowly towards you because they think you're going to close off to them and not talk to them. Queen of Swords in the current. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, this person's coming towards you, okay? Because with this full energy, they're ready to take a leap of faith, okay? Um, ready to step out on the unknown, ready to do what it is that they might have felt like they couldn't do in the past, okay? The Four of Cups energy is a missed opportunity. I feel like someone is ready to take a leap of faith because they don't want to miss an opportunity with you, okay? They are communicating with you, Page of Wands, okay? Um, very innocent communication, okay? Fun, flirty, okay? But this is to spark up something new, okay? Spark up um, a new opportunity with you, okay? Yeah. With the world energy and temperance, chariot energy, all three major arcana, this is someone that wants to start a new cycle with you, bring things back into balance, bring peace and harmony back into a situation and move forward, okay? In the immediate future, with the magician, okay? Why is the magician here in the immediate future? The magician for Gemini. Okay. <laughs> so we have the Six of Swords. The Three of Wands, the Sun card, Leo energy, and the Lovers. 
Gemini energy. Two of Wands on the bottom, Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with the Magician energy in the immediate future, this is about you creating... Um, the, it's, the magician is the energy of creating. I feel like in the immediate future, your manifestations are coming through, okay? Um, the Six of Swords energy is about moving on to calmer waters. I feel like what you ask for from spirit is coming in, okay, where you are able to take a situation into a better state, okay? Um, into a better future, okay? Into a brighter future uh, with the Sun card. Um, and into the relationship that you ask for, Mm -hmm. One that is balanced, one that is fair. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. yeah. Because someone is definitely choosing to, 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 to do the long term. Okay. Choosing to invest. Choosing to um, plant roots. Why is the Six of Pentacles the overall energy for Gemini Spirit? It's like what you ask for from Spirit comes through. In the immediate future. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles for Gemini. Terrifying. The Empress. Okay. The Empress with the Moon. Mm -hmm. Someone might have been giving the bare minimum with the six of pentacles that can be an energy of breadcrumbing okay um someone could have been given the bare minimum because they felt like they couldn't match you okay okay or match you even energetically okay if, they, if someone is looking at you as an empress okay yeah um this could be something that they didn't express to you or share with you, okay? Something that they kept to themselves, okay? Um, this can also be, the Empress can also be a mother figure, okay? So overall, this person, someone could have been giving to a mother figure in secret that you didn't know, okay? And with the Ten of Wands energy, Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands, um, this, is a, this is weighing heavy on them, Okay? That could be the secret that came out in the recent past, right? It's weighing heavy on them. I feel like it's guilt, okay? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini? Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups, yeah. Because they want the Ten of Cups with you, okay? With the Four Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles, someone is definitely trying to create another opportunity with you, okay? With the Magician... Yeah, because they feel like they blocked the love of their life, okay? Almost like sabotage the situation, okay? This is about um, someone doing something out of guilt, someone feeling burdened down with something, with responsibility even, okay? With the King of Wands energy, this person is taking action to make a concrete decision with the knight of swords okay to make some difficult decisions with the knight of swords so they can have a new beginning okay ace of wands um this can also be like an, an, an energy of like not leading with passion okay like allowing that to be the the, the lead okay <laughs> yeah overthinking their emotions Mm hmm Yeah. So, let me give you some advice, Gemini, okay? There was definitely some clarity oh, about some conflict, truth about conflict in the recent past, why someone was so inconsistent and in and out, okay? Um, and your manifestations are coming through here in the immediate future, okay? The situation is moving into a better state. What you've waited for is here. All right, what advice do we have for Gemini? Okay, say less. Okay, 
the energy is gaining momentum. Something is about to go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work through your fears on the bottom. Okay. Whatever you're afraid about, work through that. Okay. The waxing moon says the energy is gaining momentum. What? Okay. It's number 90. Okay. <clears throat> and it says this. During the, wa during the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. This card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of. Though, it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. This is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. Where do you want to go and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome, or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are most certainly on the right track. Okay? So, I feel like whatever you are manifesting is coming through for you. It's up to you to take it. Sorry. Moving on to Libra. Libra, I'm sorry, I was daydreaming. Okay, <laughs> this is your deck. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Okay, so Libra, we are here to do your reading. I'm going to look at the energy of the recent past, the current energy, and the immediate future, and I'm going to give you some advice. If the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. You ready? You're wrong. Already premeditated and shuffled the deck. You ready? Okay, Libra, your overall energy is the Seven of Cups, okay? Dreaming, overthinking, worrying, okay, with the Seven of Coins, okay? You might be worried about if some type of investment is going to be successful, okay? All right, let's see. Something you've been waiting for. You, you're you worried about if it's going to be successful, okay? What happened in the recent past, okay? The four of wands, okay? This could be a relationship, a home, something that has something to do with your stability, okay? You're creating some type of foundation for yourself. Current energy, the three of cups, okay? This could be with friends, okay? This could be with... Um, some type of celebration or, you know, uh, an energy of hanging out, okay? Or it could be with people that you hang out with, okay? And in the immediate future, the King of Cups, okay? Love. Now, I feel like someone's going to make a decision from the heart, okay? Yeah. You might have been waiting for a decision, okay? But the decision's coming through from the heart, all right? Could be from a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Okay. But let's clarify it. Okay. You're worried about something that you've been waiting on. Okay. Some type of investment. Whether it's going to be successful or not. Okay. Why is the Seven of Cups the... Oh, no. 
quiet spirit, the four of wands, the energy from the recent past. For Libra, why is the four of wands, the energy for the recent past for Libra? Okay. Okay. The Seven of Swords is about dishonesty, okay? Uh, trust issues, Seven of Swords is lying, stealing, cheating, okay? Um, with the Queen of, King of Swords, okay? Could be dealing with, with another air sign, but this could represent you. Um, yeah, you could have... Yeah, you could have been dishonest to someone, okay? Um, or maybe someone, it could be a earth sign, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn was dishonest to you, okay? Yeah, um, when it comes to like relationship, what they want, maybe in a relationship, maybe about like a foundation, some type of like plan or um, something that had something to do with your foundation, could have had something to do with your finances. Okay, why is the Four of Wands here for Libra? Okay, someone could have lied to you about their finances. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. So you might have decided to proceed with caution. Okay, maybe because you didn't trust someone. Okay. Yeah. It's like, I feel like you, this information or whatever was illuminated, okay, um, might have caused you to proceed with caution. Yeah. See? With the devil energy and the five of pentacles. Because you were like, this can blow up in my face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and then you'll regret it, okay? All right, so in the current energy, we have the Three of Cups, okay? So that's about coming together, celebration, friends, right? Why the Three of Cups here in the current energy for Libra? Three of Cups for Libra. The Nine of Wands, okay? And the Six of Cups. This could be a friend from the past. This can be friends from the past. This can be um, another person that is interfering from the past, okay? Um, yeah, but the Page of Swords and the Lovers, it's like you know what, your, what decision you want to make. Maybe people are influencing your decisions and you're tired of them like getting involved and trying to bring something together. And maybe these people from the past or this energy from the past just keeps interfering okay why is the three of cups here yeah you've been trying to avoid them to a source you've been trying to heal okay you've been closed off okay yeah yeah you could even feel like You've been through something with someone so much that you don't know how. It's like the energy of the two of swords. Like, I don't know how. I don't know, right? With the six of pentacles, I don't know if I can heal this. I don't know if this can come together at this point, okay? Because with the six of pentacles, it's about giving to someone. Giving. It's like I've been giving, giving, giving. And I am just keep getting disappointed with the three of swords, right? Definitely could be some type of third party interference with the two threes. Okay. Yeah. It's like you you ready to move forward on something. You you want to like address the situation even. Three of cups for Libra. Okay, that's your energy with the Justice card and the Nine of Pentacles. Because you know it's right. It's the right thing to do. Okay, with this Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Um, maybe your finances are better. Maybe your 
stability is better, okay? And it's time to plan for the next, okay? Or plan to progress something forward or heal something with a mother figure or plan to progress forward yourself, okay? Maybe you, maybe someone's been asking for something from you, your friends, or, or somebody keep asking for something. Could be money, right? You could have lied to somebody about the money or, this, you know, how your stability is. Because you don't want to give, okay? Yeah. Why is the King of Cups here in the immediate future for Libra? It's like you've been avoiding giving something to someone, okay? You've been avoiding doing that. Because you're tired of doing it, okay? All right? But with this hangman energy, okay? Um, Spirit wants you to kind of see things from a different perspective, I think, in the immediate future. Um, maybe to like leave from the heart, okay, with the judgment energy and the five of swords, six of cups. Um, change your perspective as far as your judgment when it comes to like, you know, how you are looking at the past. You know, you could be having arguments with people from the past, okay? Yeah, lead with your heart when it comes to um, what choice you make and the decisions you make. Um, when it comes to the directions that you want to go, um, when it comes to like doing what's right. Okay. King of cups, energy, immediate future. Okay. You have deep emotions for someone. Okay. That you might be suppressing. You have deep emotions for a situation and I feel like you're overthinking it even. Why is the king of cups here? Yeah. You know what decision you want to make. Okay. Page of swords. And the lovers could be done for Gemini. Okay. You know what decision you want to make. Okay. Spirit's like, just make it. Okay. Yeah. Been avoiding someone. Yeah. And heal that heartbreak. Heal it. It's, it could be someone from your past that you're avoiding. Spirit's like, stop that. Okay. Change your perspective. All right. So, why is the Seven of Cups the overall energy for Libra? Why are you overthinking? Why are you worried about investing, about giving? Because you did it before and it didn't go well? Yeah, there it is. Because I ain't trying to be broke. Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I done been through that already. Yeah. Yeah, Three of Swords. I'm ready to move past that. It's like, listen, I'm overthinking this. I'm worried because I ain't trying to be broke. Somebody might have lied about their finances and you're like, whoop, red flag, right? <laughs> Why is the Seven of Cups here? Is it overall energy for Libra? Yeah. Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, okay? Um, the, the Queen of Swords is your energy, but, I, but I've already seen the King of Swords. You apply how it fits. I feel like you want to get on the same page with somebody. You want to heal something, okay? You want to heal a situation, maybe start anew, okay? You're just overthinking it. You're worried about regretting it, okay? I feel like Spirit wants you to change your perspective, okay? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Libra? Okay. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and the Page of Cups. Okay, the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Someone's going to apologize, okay? Um, someone's going to make an offer, okay, um, for reconciliation or to get back together or to hang out or to reunite. Um, yeah. Yeah, this person is definitely sexually attracted to you. Yeah. Um, and they might even like reveal to you that they've been thinking a lot about things and how they created restrictions in the situation and da 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 and da 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 da. Okay. Or vice versa. All right. Apply how it fits. All right. But we definitely see someone seeing another as a counterpart. Now, you might have some stress issues, okay? The Spirit wants you to see things from a new perspective and lead with your heart, okay? 
So let's get you some advice, Libra, from the Moonology deck. This is for Libra currently, this situation. Please give Libra some advice, God. All right, what advice do we have for Libra? Prosperity lies ahead, okay? With have faith in your dreams on the bottom, see? Prosperity lies ahead, is the same. And it says this. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter. You feel like you're going to be broke <laughs> if you make this decision. Oh. <laughs> or when you're doubting your self-worth. Okay, this card suggests you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Okay? Yeah. Change your perspective. Have faith in your dreams. So that's what I have for you, Shib. Yeah, moving on to Aquarius. It's Aquarius there. Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, listen. We're about to do your reading. We're going to look at the energy of the recent past, the current energy, and the immediate future. I'm also going to get you some advice from the Moonology deck. And if the reading does not resonate, don't try to make it. Okay. Um, already premeditated and shuffled your deck. So let's see what your overall energy is. Ready? Overall energy. Mm -hmm. The star, that's your energy, Aquarius. See? Mm -hmm. With the chariot. Okay, you're going towards your dreams. Mm -hmm. You didn't know, you didn't know what decision to make. You didn't know like what to do, right? You might receive some communication. You was like, oh my God, what do I do with this, right? Because you're going towards your dreams. You ready? What happened in the recent past? The five of coins, okay? So some type of neglect, financial hardship, um, abandonment even, current energy, the nine of wands, okay? Um, this is about resilience, okay? So you are dealing with that hardship, but you're managing, okay? And the immediate future, ten of swords. Ending it. Done, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. For Aquarius spirit, please clarify these messages and why they are here for my Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. All right. So we have the five coins in the recent past. Okay. Why is the five coins here in the recent past for Aquarius? Okay, the hangman energy. Okay. The hangman energy. The hangman energy can be an energy of being stuck. Okay. But it's also about perspectives. Okay. With the nine of wands and the three of wands. Okay. Um, you might have been trying to progress something forward, having a lot of issues, having a lot of doubts, having a lot of obstacles, things not happening as quickly as you want them to or whatever, right? The five of coins energy, 
feeling a lack, feeling like I'm just not, it's not happening. I'm just not making it, right? Why is the five of coins here? Okay, I think Spirit wants you to change your perspective on that. Because maybe you were, okay? <laughs> With the Queen of Wands energy and the Magician, okay? Change, you got to change your, um, your confidence, okay? You could have been putting all this effort feeling like I'm doing all this and for nothing. No, change your confidence. Change your confidence. You're putting in the work. You're putting in the effort. As you're doing that, you're creating. You're manifesting, okay? With the lover's energy and the king of swords, okay? Yeah. And the nine of pentacles. Mm hmm Yeah. You are manifesting um, partnerships that will help you achieve what you want. You are manifesting stability, okay? Yeah. So stop holding back yeah stop holding on too okay why is the nine of wands here in the current for a grace the nine of wands that's the one that's still going but they tired. it okay yeah the seven of cups is worry and overthinking okay um worrying about um with the three of pentacles yeah, like worrying about working with others, okay? Um, maybe you've had to do partnerships or collaborations with others and it might not have gone in your favor. With the star energy and the nine of cups, it's like you have been working your butt off and you want to create um, what it is that you want. You want to you want to reach your goals, Okay. And so with this nine of wands energy, you're tired in the current energy. And you're like worrying about like, you know, do I really want to collaborate? Do I really want to work with? Do I really want to build with? Okay. So you're stalling. Okay. With the knight of pentacles, you're stalling. Okay. Um, towards any type of offer for any type of collaboration or partnership. Okay. Yeah. But this offer or this opportunity might actually help you move quicker towards what it is that you want okay so with the ten of swords this is the ending in the immediate future okay something closing out done deal okay let's see what it is why is the ten of swords here in the immediate future okay. the hermit energy and the three of cups okay so mm -hmm. someone is making a choice okay they've had time to think about it reflect on it and they're making a choice this choice might come off as a betrayal okay okay with the knight of wands energy Okay. Someone has been thinking about like what action to take. What should I do? Okay. Maybe even thinking about a lot about their actions. Okay. Um, there could have been a third party involved. Okay. Or there could have been um, friends involved. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this choice with the two of wands. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like friends and even family were influencing, okay, with the Page of Cups. Um, yeah, it's someone that is, you know, apologizing, okay? All right. Mm-hmm. Maybe for rejecting some type of commitment or pushing or 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 ending something or not satisfying a commitment, okay? Um, but someone just felt stuck. Mm -hmm. They felt like they couldn't um, have what it is that they wanted in the immediate future, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Someone could even be in the immediate future thinking a lot about their actions, um, how they've allowed their friends to influence their decisions and apologize. Okay, yeah. Why is the star energy here for Aquarius as the overall energy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the devil energy, Capricorn energy, and the five of swords. Yeah, um, whatever, whoever was representing this devil energy is like, you know, repeated patterns, toxic behavior, uh, negativity, right? Um, five of swords, this could even be gossip. This can even be like, you know, arguing harsh words to one another. Um, six of pentacles in the fool, okay? This can be someone that, uh, they want to heal everything. Like, it's like someone wants to move forward in the right direction. It's like, I want to recover this, okay? Recognizing their flaws even, okay? Why is the star energy here for Aquarius? The sun card, okay? And the nine of pentacles, Okay, this can be someone finding out or learning about money, okay, um, about finances, um, maybe looking at a situation and saying, oh, no, it is stable. This actually can go somewhere. But with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords, there, there was some type of... Um, Betrayal, okay, dishonesty, last and cheating that caused the betrayal, caused heartbreak, okay, yeah. And someone might be gaining the clarity that they need to change, okay, why change their even their level of selfishness, okay, yeah. And with the nine of wands energy and temperance, this is to bring things back into balance to um, recover something. Okay. Mm. This is someone that's definitely trying to recover something. Okay. And move forward. Okay. So even with the star energy, it can be wish fulfillment, but it feel more so like it's hope. Mm -hmm. Hoping that we can, hoping that. Things work out. Okay. This can also be, with the star energy, a wish fulfillment. The devil energy with the five of swords can be like an unhealthy pattern of overthinking, of like allowing your mind to play tricks on you. Because with that sun card and the nine of pentacles, you realize that something is good. Something is fruitful. Okay. And all of your wands that you had, you know, stacked up against you with this nine of wands energy, all that guarded energy is then balanced out. Yeah, that feels better when I say it. Okay, but apply how it fits. So that's what I have for you, should. I hope this helped. Oh, let me give y'all a message of advice, okay? So this is for Aquarius, Spirit. Moon Aji deck. Please give us a message for Aquarius. What do they need to know right now? Guidance for this situation. For Aquarius. Okay. Don't let pride get in the way. Don't do that. All right? <laughs> and nothing will come of this situation. All right? You might be thinking that. But my deck says you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay? That's you feeling defeated. Like, I've been putting in this work. Nothing's happening. Right? Okay. So let's read the messages. 
Full moon in Leo. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Okay, we saw that with the King of Cups energy, lead from the heart. Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent. But when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would be done by lately, this is the time to find a balance between your needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help all your relationships, okay? Because nothing will come up this situation. It's probably what you're thinking, all right? Or what you have been thinking, okay? And where is it? says this in a form of astrology known as horari where an astrological chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded a void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or this situation will bear no fruit this may or may not be good news depending on what you are asking for example if you were worried about something, whatever it is, this card can be taken as a sign that there is nothing to worry about. However, if you're asking about a new project of any kind, including a new relationship, it's a sign to adjust your expectations or change things so that you get a different outcome. Remember, the cards can only predict what you are currently creating and you can change that with both your behavior and your beliefs, okay? So don't let pride get in your way, okay? Are you only thinking about yourself? Well, that's what I have for you, should. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. No, really. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.